Something just changed with three eye atlas, and it shouldn't be possible. The object's rotation speed just doubled, not gradually over months, suddenly after passing the sun, from 16 hours down to 7 hours. That kind of spin-up requires massive internal forces, or external torque, that natural comets don't have. But here's the real problem. Its brightness is pulsing at a completely different rate than its rotation. In astronomy, pulsing objects, like pulsars or rotating asteroids, pulse because they rotate. The spin causes the brightness change, but 3i Atlas is pulsing independently of its spin. That's not supposed to happen. Let's break down what scientists just discovered, and why 18 documented anomalies are piling up faster than anyone can explain. There are two ways to measure how fast 3i Atlas spins. First, you track the jets. As the object rotates, the jets wobble and shift position. By measuring that wobble over time, you calculate the rotation period. Second, you measure brightness changes. Most rotating objects get brighter and dimmer as different surfaces face the sun. That brightness cycle matches the rotation period. For 3i Atlas, those two measurements used to be wildly different. Before perihelion, the jets rotated every 7.74 hours, but the brightness pulsed every 16 to 17 hours, two completely separate cycles. That makes no sense. After perihelion, the numbers suddenly converged. The jets now rotate every 7.2 hours, and the brightness pulses every 7.136 hours, almost identical. But here's the problem. If the brightness cycle dropped from 16 hours to 7 hours, that means the object's effective rotation more than doubled in speed. Natural comets don't do that. Spinning up requires transferring angular momentum, either from internal shifts or external forces, and nothing in the comet model explains a doubling of spin rate in weeks. Avi Loeb just updated his anomaly list. It now includes 18 documented behaviors that don't fit natural comets. Let me hit the key ones. Geometric coincidences. The trajectory aligns within 5 degrees of the ecliptic plane, 0.2% probability. It timed its arrival to pass Mars at 29 million kilometers, Venus within 1 AU, and Jupiter at 54 million kilometers, and on March 16th, it'll pass Jupiter at exactly 53.6 million kilometers, just 100,000 kilometers from Jupiter's hill radius, the perfect spot for a Lagrange point orbit. Jet geometry, three mini-jets spaced exactly 120 degrees apart. The anti-tail originates within 8 degrees of both poles, switching at perihelion with a 16 degree axial shift, exactly twice the jet opening angle. The odds of that? 0 pars to 25. 1 in 40,000. Composition, nickel to iron ratios, match industrial alloys, not natural rock. Organic molecules buried under 10 meters of material, protected from billions of years of cosmic radiation. Ice signature vanished after perihelion, replaced by methanol, formaldehyde, methane. Physical properties, brightened faster than any known comet, hotter than the sun's corona, extreme negative polarization never seen before, and it's more massive and faster than both Oumuamua and Borisov, suggesting it targeted the inner solar system rather than drifting randomly. If you're an ordinary comet, you don't generate this much news. You brighten near the sun, fade as you leave, and disappear. Done. But 3i Atlas produces new anomalies every 48 to 72 hours, published papers from multiple research teams, none arguing it's a spacecraft, just reporting behavior inconsistent with natural comets. The CIA confirmed they have records on it, but won't release them under FOIA. Putin was asked about it during a live press conference and deflected with a joke. A former Bank of England analyst just urged financial institutions to prepare for market instability in case an official announcement confirms alien intelligence. And now, the rotation data shows something physically impossible under standard comet physics. The brightness pulsing independently of rotation means there's an internal or external process causing periodic changes unrelated to spin. What does that? On January 22nd, 3i Atlas aligns with the Sun-Earth axis to within 0.69 degrees. The anti-tail will point directly at us. This rare alignment maximizes brightness and gives us the clearest view we'll ever get. After that, it fades toward Jupiter. By March 16th, 
when it reaches the hill radius boundary, it'll likely be a faint dot if visible at all. The data collected over the next few weeks will take years to analyze, but the rotation change is immediate, measurable, documented, and unexplained. Natural processes don't double an object's spin rate in weeks. Heat doesn't cause that. Outgassing doesn't cause that. Gravitational deflection at perihelion doesn't cause that. So what did? 18 anomalies. A rotation speed that doubled. Brightness pulsing independently of spin. Three jets spaced in perfect 120 degree geometry. And the trajectory that passes every inner planet plus Jupiter's hill radius with surgical precision. The mainstream narrative is, it's just a comet, a few quirks, nothing to worry about. But when you stack 18 documented anomalies, each one statistically unlikely, you're not looking at quirks, you're looking at an object behaving in ways we've never seen. The January 22nd alignment happens in one day. After that, the window closes. Subscribe for updates as new data comes in. What do you think explains the rotation change? Drop your thoughts below. The countdown is on.